All right, guys, God bless you, and welcome to This Is It, 4, 3, 2, 1, Before the Fire. All right, quick update. Uh, Richard, he's in a good place. He's in a, he's in a place of safety. He's uh, with an actual true follower of the This Is It online YouTube channel that reaches out to people to show them the truth of the system that you're caught in. You're caught in a twin system. That's the big secret. The big secret is there's a good you that's up and a bad you that's down. Right side up is good, upside down is bad, and you have your own evil twin, which is a demon from the pit. That's the system. There's an angel and a demon caught within you. I'm going to show you a short little video that Zach and I uh, worked on today. It's just kind of a, a remix, and then I'm going to show you the outward manifestation of the spiritual world and clothing, new clothing that's coming out. It's just so obvious now it's a joke. And that spiritual entity, which is twin female energy. It's not twin female people walking around. It's twin female energy. Parthenogenesis is what started the host body system. It's a serpent uh, reptilian race that starts the natural host body system, twin female. And then the spiritual being comes in in Genesis 2. And the, the Bible says that's the Lord from heaven. If you've ever read 1 Corinthians 15. So anyway, and then at the end of showing you all this super cool revelation and information that is hidden in plain sight. After that, uh, one of the, well, two of the people that actually lived at the ark uh, contacted us today and they felt, that they just wanted to make a record of Jim and Karen. So I'm going to play that for you because I think it's important. Uh, if, if it's okay for everybody to go out and say, Jonathan Clex a Satanist and I, that's okay. Go ahead, do it all you want. I don't care. But then it's also got to be okay for the people that lived at the ark just to tell their experience of who Jim and Karen were and what they did and what their experience it was. So if you don't want to hear that kind of stuff, then after I give you the supernatural information you're about to see, then watch it and turn it off. Because some people are like, oh, I don't want to see it. It became necessary for me to deal with all this nonsense because there's a lot of people involved now and they just keep digging a deeper hole for themselves. It's crazy. It's like they just can't stop. And we know that in the end of the world, what does the Bible say? Your worst enemies. The Bible says your worst enemies will be members of your own household. Um, brother will rise against brother. Father will rise against their, his own son. Mother against daughter-in-law. That's kind of funny because it's like that's kind of a natural one out there in the world. <laughs> but it also says children will rise against their parents and cause them to be killed. I mean, I know that's hard to believe and it's hard to like, but if another race of beings is taking over the host body system from the inside, well, then it makes total sense. And I'm going to show you that in what I, when I deliver to you and then pray for your enemies. God have mercy on the people that are just everyone that is involved. Everyone that's a hater, everyone that is a liar, everyone that is manipulating things to try and, make other people out to be something that they're not. There's a word for that. That's evil. So we're going to expose the evil. We're going to shine light on the darkness. The Bible says whatever makes manifest is light. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And whatever makes manifest, and the word manifest means clear or obvious to the mind and to the eyes, whatever makes manifest is light. So if I'm showing you stuff that was hidden in plain sight, that you're not able to see or you weren't able to see. And all of a sudden you're like, whoa, well, there's only one way to make that manifest is by the light, not by being a Satanist. Now, some people say that's not true, but the Bible says in the end, they will call good, bad and bad, good. Woe unto them. Woe unto them who call good, bad and bad, good, that dark for light and light for dark. Okay, now, so here we go. That's what the Bible says. I'm repeating what the Bible says. Now, let's have a look. I'm going to play a, a video for you to start. All right, here we go. A little shorty here, and then we're going to comment on it.
the serpent is the dragon. The dragon is Satan, a.k.a. the devil. So if you worship the Prince of Darkness, how perfect to do it right in front of everybody, right under their nose. all of God's angels I will rise above the stars of hell that's the plan destroy God's angels host body system and that host body system is attached to the pit through a demon so as soon as the angel comes into the host body he's got a body but he's attached to the pit through a demon through one of your eyes that's called the all seeing eye And that attachment to the pit is what keeps the record against you. And that record is used to destroy you. The fix is to turn back to Christ and get inverted. The word converted means turn quite around. You turn back to Christ. You turn away from your flesh and get converted. And the two become one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, what I'd like to do is kind of go through this just slowly and then open up a couple folders and show you some stuff. Let me give you an example. So let me just show you show you a couple things here real quick. Um, if it'll let me like back out of it. Um, been having some fascinating, interesting equipment problems. So here's a clothing line called 400. 400. You may have seen it. Um, isn't this fascinating? So here this guy is, he's wearing a blue cap. By the way, um, there's red and blue in the system. Red represents blood that has life in it, has oxygen. Blue is life, uh, blood that doesn't have really life in it. it has to go back through the system and get the oxygen and go back the other direction. Even the system itself bears witness to it. Blue is a color typically used by that race. They like to delineate themselves with blue and they like to mock red because the color red is Adam. Now I know how the enemy works. Oh, well you wear blue all the time, Clack. Well, I don't really worry about what color clothes I wear. So, but I know how weird the enemy gets. So, oh, Clack wore blue. He said it. Oh my God. Okay. Anyway, so here we go. So here the guy is wearing a blue hat. Look how it says elites, elite tees, elite tees, right? L-T's, l t s. Okay, look, see, they, they hate this guy so bad. It's pretty fascinating. And just for the re record, I'm apolitical. I don't subscribe to any of it. I'm not some Trump lover at all. And uh, But I'm certainly uh, aware that Red team versus blue team is just, it's called the Hegelian dialectic. Go look it up. Anyway, so here they are. They're showing the one eye symbology. Uh, does that remind you of a channel called Gene Rebel? Because Gene Rebel channel is the same as this. 400, hunted for dinner. 
Uh, four, so here's a clothing line called 400. Right here, 400. And here's the logo. 400. 400. Well, just like a set of twins. Let me see if, uh, there we go. Just like a set of twins, the, the logo for 400 is mocking you because the word hunted is, or hunted is really hunt, hunted. It's how black guys, I, I used to hang around blacks that were, you know, dealers and that type of thing. They said, they'd say, hey, give me a hunted. So the word hunted is hunted. Four hunted. Hunted four, and then the word hunted backwards is dinna. Dinna. Hunted for dinna. Because the word hunted has its twin, which is backwards, which is dinna. So hunted for dinner. And that's the twin system like Cain and Abel. Can cannibal. And that's that's the cryptic meaning in the logo uh, the, the logo for four hundred of four four hundred. So four hundred is really hunted for dinner, Cain and Abel, because it's a twin system. So see now what I'm doing is I'm shedding light on a logo that most people would never figure out. They would never know that four hundred is really hunted for dinner. That's what that logo means because they know you're in a cannibalistic system. And that's that's the uh, cryptic meaning of it. Now, let's see. I should have had, let's see, bait tennis shoes. Now, here's a pair of tennis shoes. They're called bait. Uh, the same guy that owns the tennis shoes is the guy that owns 400. And the number 400 in the Bible, and I'm going to show you in the Bible the number 400. Now, watch this. Strong's 400. Strong's 400, I'm sorry, 400, in the Bible means food and pray and why. So I wonder what the odds are. So it means food. Look at this. Food supply, mealtime, pray. What is, what's pray? Pray is something you hunt. A predator hunts its prey for hunted. Get it? That's why it's a clever use of the number 400, because the entity that's running YG, the rapper, knows that that number 400, it's a biblical language, 400, 400 in the Bible means food and prey. Well, the whole system is cannibalistic, Cain and Abel. Get it? Cain and Abel, cannibal. So to have a clothing line called 400, hunted for dinner, hunted for dinner is the same as cannibal and they know it and the way that happens is the angels that have free will that come into the system that want to take on host bodies like we all did this see we're all guilty of original sin everyone that's here so if you're here it's because you're guilty of original sin you were willing you exercised your free will and that's what this whole thing is about to understand what free will is and so the angels end up in a host body but they're hunted in the system by female energy so female energy is what hunts you and everyone thinks like oh sex is i i didn't understand growing up at all that sex was like not like it was biblically something that puts you in hell i didn't know that i thought well you meet a girlfriend you have sex you do whatever you know i mean that's just part of growing up right well the bible says anyone who commits fornication all fornicators go to the pit. Did you know that? I mean, I didn't know that growing up. I wasn't taught that. I was Catholic and Catholics worship the Virgin. I had girlfriends over all the time. My mom, oh, y'all have fun. You know, my girlfriend slept in my bedroom sometimes. I, it was just not like I never thought there's anything really wrong with it. I thought that's what everyone was supposed to do. Anyway, so, but in the Bible, all fornicators go to the pit. So if you haven't repented of fornication, which is sleeping outside the covenant of marriage, then you are, you're unregenerative. You haven't been regenerated. You haven't been born again. And so then if you die in that condition, you go to the pet. So anyway, let's look at the number 400. So in the Bible, 400 means food, food supply, mealtime, pray. So does anyone think that a clothing line called 400, see, that's why they have it burning right here. Because in the pit, you're burned is fuel. That's it. And they know it. And they're mocking the crap out of you. And then they have a pair of uh, tennis shoes called La, uh, 
they're called bait. The name of the tennis shoes are called bait. See, it says the bait Reebok Classic Nylon 400 is now available. Let's see, 400. So the angel, if you got a, uh, so if you got your host body, right, you get a host body and you grow up and you put on your tennis shoes, that proves you're guilty just because you have a host body. That's why the flesh is in opposition to the spirit of the living God, the living God. So you're in the system. You don't know what's going on, but you're being hunted by a, de a demon that's inside of your host body with you. So the life in you is an angel. Your, the, your, your soul comes from the father. The demon that's attached to the host body from the pit is what's hunting your whole life. And that Bluetooth line that goes to the pit, that's what holds the record against you because you have your own worm that's feeding off you. The Bible says it's better to pluck out one eye and enter heaven than to be cast into hell where the fire is never quenched and the worm never dies. Because see, you're attached to your own worm through one eye and your other eye goes to heaven to a star's to a star. And that's what the night under the stars was all about because the Lord had revealed it to me and said, Jonathan, if you step out on faith, I will show up. If you tell Zach and Corey that I've shown you, your other eye is a star. That's the light in you. And it was one of the hardest things I've had to just blurt out. Okay, guys, here's what the Lord said. If I step out on faith and I tell you today, if we go to the ark tonight, the Lord said he would show up. What, what does that even mean, he'll show up? Well, he showed up as an eye in the sky, a giant eye with the moon as the center. The clouds coalesced and made this big blue, pink, green, like rainbow eye in the sky. And the stars were all out. So he manifested in the heavens exactly what he had shown me and told me. But I took I took the step of faith and I told Corey and Zach. And I invite, I told, the Lord told me Karen and Jim had to go. Now that things are where they are, it's not because it turned out to be a wonderful revelation for them. It, it's more like an indictment now because now they've turned completely against the very person that the Lord sent to lay hands on Karen Sullivan and cure her of stage four rectal cancer. But Karen Sullivan will tell you that I'm a Satanist, that I'm a liar, but everybody knows she was healed. She did her video. Did you see her video that I put up where she said, I'm healed. Jonathan shows up with power. But now I'm a Satanist because Karen and Jim lied. They mismanaged. They did a lot of nefarious stuff. And once the night under the stars was over, the Lord told me to confront her, and I did, and she lied, and that's just a fact, and it's all documented. So then she be, she was very hostile, and she had a lot of hate towards me. I, I didn't know how much she hated me before the night under stars, but once we had to get together, then people just started telling me. I was like, what? And so anyway, let's. so let me get back to the whole angel and a demon okay that's in the little video i just showed you so let me play it one more time and I, i'm gonna stop it while i'm playing it so you understand there's a pair of tennis shoes right here called four hunted it means hunted for dinner like cain and abel twins the word hunted has a twin upside down it's dinner hunted for dinner get it cain and abel cannibal so we're hunted for dinner by twin female energy that's from the pit that started the human host body system through parthenogenesis, which is a form of reptilian creation using a female archetype that's able to self-fertilize and to then create a breeding population, then transgender and start creating a big population of reptilian humanoids. That's it. And then the angels come into the system, and that was through Adam and Eve, and that's the way that commingling happens. So then the commingling happened, then you have you have life and death commingled in Genesis 3. That's why the Bible says in Genesis 3, neither shall you touch it, the forbidden fruit, lest you die. What's, what's that mean, neither shall you touch it? It says, lay with a woman, when you look at the word touch. I've shown you guys repetitively. Okay, now, here we go. So, no one can argue. Does it say lost angels on the hill? Yes, it does. Does it say 400? What's 400 in the Bible? So am I showing you facts or just some stupid opinion? It says food, prey. What's uh, so hunted? What is hunting? You're hunting for prey. So 400. Now I've proven it. Hunted for dinner. 
Okay, so now there's a shoot. What does it say? F U pay me. So on on the tongue, which is like the shoe, but also your mouth. F U pay me. Uh, what's on the what's on the heel? Lost angels. Lost angels. Because see, we're the lot. We're the lost sheep. Sheep. The sheep. The lost sheep are the angels. And how, where are they lost? Well, they're lost in the world inside of a host body. But they got inverted and they don't know what's going on. So in order to see what's going on, you got to turn everything the opposite direction. Then you can see the truth because the truth has been inverted within the system. So if the truth is inverted, if you turn it back the other way, you see the truth. If you're seeing the truth, spiritually, you're recognizing Christ in the system. It's like, whoa, what? And then you'll see it enough to where you just, you'll have a moment where you'll freak out and you'll be like, oh my God, what's going on? And then you'll make your confession to Christ. He'll convert you, means turn quite around. The Bible says, if your eyes be single, your whole body will be full of light. Your eyes aren't single because you have an angel and a demon. Your eyes are double. You know, there's a man called Forner. Back when I went to high school, fill my eyes with that double vision. Just go listen to the song, double vision. Right side up and upside down. Hunted for dinner. Cain and Abel. It's a twin system started by female energy. Twin female energy. It's the most wicked, evil, wicked thing there is. Twin female energy. energy. Not people energy but it manifests through the system and then the people that give themselves over to it like yg yg obviously has given himself over to it so he gets the things of this world and for that he gets money fame whatever girls all whatever the stuff the world has to offer the flesh but at the end his soul goes to the pit for sure same with bob dylan bob dylan just came out and saw you know he's done interviews saying it so anyway this is no big you know oh uh, it's it's no way uh, oh clex this clex that it's just a fact so anyway so let me see i just i just see uh this isaiah fourteen thirteen. for thou hast said in thine heart i will ascend into heaven i will exalt my throne above the stars the word stars is angels of god i of uh, the the word god right here is l the almighty god it's hebrew word 410 I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the size of the north. So the word throne, my throne, 3678, right here in the root of it is 3680. It means to plump, to fill up hollows. Because in the pit, there's a worm that's feeding off you. So the eye that goes to the pit goes to your own personal worm. Because a locust is feeding off you your whole life. You know, there's stages for things, right? Like... A locust doesn't start off as a locust. It starts off and then has to transform. So in the pit, you have your own worm. And look what it says. To plump Philippolis by implication to cover for clothing or secrecy. So you know what the clothing or secrecy is? The host body system. So they're in host bodies and they're hunting you through the host body system. Hunted for dinner. Cain and Abel. Cainable. Okay, now. I've shown you that it's not arguable. Some people will try and, you know, some people will argue that a ham sandwich is not a ham sandwich, but it's still a ham sandwich. Okay, so now there's bait tennis shoes. So you got your host body. So F you pay me, lost angel, because you're walking around in a body. You don't even know where you are. So let me just give you some examples to that. So see, Satan. He, male and female, that's his thing, flesh, male and female. And so you can see it on tarot cards. I mean, look, the devil, see the upside down five pointed star? Well, the representation of an angel is a right side up five pointed star. So if you invert a five pointed star, the, the top point being the head, the ones on the side, the arms, and the bottom one, the legs, that represents one of God's stars. But if you invert it, it's the temple of Satan. What lives in the temple of Satan? Male and female energy. Females down, male is up. Our father who art in heaven and the virgin is from the pit. Female. Okay, it's the most obvious thing in the world once you see it. So here's the tarot card, the devil. He has male and female on a chain and they're both the devil. It's his system. The devil owns the flesh. Now you know 
why the Bible says we have received the spirit of adoption. Well, if we have to be adopted, adopted from who? From whom? The devil, because we became his child when we got born in the flesh. So now Satan owns us. He owns the flesh. That's why he was able to tell Jesus, hey, if you bow down and worship me, I'll give you all these kingdoms that are mine to give. All authority has been given to me in the flesh. It's his. He owns it. So he has legal title deed to your soul because you're in a body. That's the forbidden fruit. So now if you want to get out of it, you got to turn back to God, to the God of heaven, not the God of the pit, the God of heaven. And you ask him to forgive you. You admit you deserve your punishment and he would be just in condemning you. That's why you're here. You're in an intermediate stage. You're between heaven and hell. And if you don't get converted, and the word converted means turned quite around. The language, the definition of converted means turned quite around, the opposite direction. The night I got saved, Jonathan, read the tags in the closure, Karen. 100% nylon didn't make any sense. He said, turn it upside down. 100% no lion. Oh, there it is, the truth. What's the truth? 100% no line. Do you see how obvious it all is now? Oh, collection of lawyers and false right. You know why they're so freaked out? Because they know there's a prophet among them. And they know that the prophets show up with God's word and God's authority. And they freak out because you know what that means? They're all condemned. That means someone's showing up with the goods that puts them in eternal torment. So if I'm showing up and I'm showing you the absolute truth that is the in judicially that puts them in the pit forever and ever and ever, of course they're going to freak out. You don't think they'd come up with schemes to try and get rid of the prophet? <laughs> Do you know how much crap I've seen since I've gotten saved? Do you know how many crazy things I've been through since I've gotten saved? Do you know how many attempts there's been made against me since I got saved? People tried to kidnap me. I've had so much crap happen. It's crazy. Yes. I just don't talk about all of it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let, let me show you this. There's Katy Perry. Why would you have an eye on your chest and a big mouth where your vagina is? Why would you have a, a this girl a checkerboard pattern that says hell and then, yes, look at the letter E right where her vagina would be. Because A, B, C, D, E. E is the fifth letter of the alphabet. The whole system is five and five. This, you'll see it all the time. Vampire Academy. Showed it to you in the other video. Remember, Vampire Academy. A, B, C, D, E. I read their language now. I see their symbology is gives them away. I don't know if you guys know this, but Confucius said, and not that I'm a Confucius guy, but he did say the world is run by symbols, and he was right. Anyway, so hell yes. See, hell yes, because she wants to take it out. Katy Perry, who said she sold her soul. The eye on her chest and the mouth where her vagina is. Uh, one of the Hadid girls, I think that's Gigi or Bella Hadid, one of them, the devil. I mean, you know, because they're hunters. Get it? Hunted for dinner. They're the down stuff. Okay, now, it's I mean, that's pretty just ridiculously obvious, isn't it? So let me show you this guy's tattoo. There's an angel kind of talking in his ear from above and down from the pit. The devil. That's why you got two different things going on. Now, let me show you that I, I'm going to show you that I know how to read their language. There is a really incredible movie called Nefarious. Whoa. You want to see a movie that's just so over the target, it's insane? Go watch Nefarious. I'm dealing with right now something like Nefarious, but it's through a whole group of different people all at once. It's fascinating. It's crazy. It's like, wow. But see, I serve the living God. And the living God has a way of rescuing those that work for him while also taking care of the ones that are evil and making sure they fall into their own ditch. That's why Psalm 17 and 18, Psalm 7 the other day, he told me, Jonathan, read these Psalms to encourage me. Because I'm dealing with a lot of really seriously lunatic people right now. People that are sick, twisted, evil. So, and again, at the end of me delivering this supernatural information, y'all are going to hear a testimony from the peop very people that lived at the ark that were invited there by the Sullivans. No, I didn't invite people to, to the ark except for Dave the Wave and Lee went out there 
and um, they were the first two tenants. And then Lee, I booted out because of some problems, but Dave the Wave was there. But the lion's share of the people that lived out of the yard heavily were people that were invited by Jim and Karen. I just funded it. I funded it. I gave people that lived their actual money because I knew they didn't have jobs and they were so busy working on the property and the properties and taking care of whatever Jim and Karen's bidding was that they, they a lot of them didn't have any income. So I helped support them financially as well <laughs> so yeah so here's speak of the devil nefarious okay what do you notice about the letter n it's backwards what about the letter r it's backwards okay so let me show you the way the enemy communicates okay so by the way if you pay attention to the picture you'll see that there is a face looking this way a face looking that way and one in the middle showing that satan has taken over the right and the left side of this guy okay this you know the person he owns the whole thing uh you'll see the same thing on the vatican as well so you see the letter n it's backwards the letter r is backwards okay well so let me show you how to understand what the reasoning behind that is so the letter n is the 14th letter of the alphabet so n equals 14 n backwards is 41 Okay, the letter R is the 18th letter of the alphabet, and the number or the letter R backwards being 18 is 81. So if I take if I take those two numbers and I put them together, it's 41, 81. And if I go look in the Bible and type in 41, what word is 41, 81 in the Bible? It means possession. What is the whole movie nefarious about? Demonic possession. Do you think that's even remotely possible that I just showed you what I showed you? Well, see, if I'm really serving the Lord God, the Bible says, if they, meaning the ones that are the evil ones, the evil population that's not converted, that hates God, if they hated me, they'll hate you. Well, that's one thing I'm for sure is I'm hated by a lot of people that are willing to do really nefarious things, actually. But a lot of them don't even know that they're caught yet. What's fascinating is when you look at the word nefarious and you think about it and you see that they actually put the N backwards and the R backwards and those two letters backwards are possession in the Bible. Do you know how insane that is? That the whole movie is about possession, demonic possession and 4181, the N and the R backwards in the Bible is possession. Do you think that's remotely possible? Well, see, those people that hate me would say, Jonathan Clark's a Satanist. No, I'm not. I work for the Lord God. I lay hands on people that are blind and they see. People that are terminally ill and they get well. So those are the works of El, the Almighty God. And that's El inside of me, in Manuel, Jesus Christ in me, that's doing the works. And Jesus said, if they hated me, they'll hate you. Jesus said, if they called me the Prince of Demons, how much more will they, my followers? Well, I'm one of his followers. So when you see people, Jonathan Clarkson saying this, that just means the people that are saying it is who Jesus was talking about. They will hate you. They will call me the prince of demons and they will do the same to my followers. See, I work for Jesus and they're just proving it. <laughs> that's all. That's all they do. So there it is. Nefarious. The N backwards and the R backwards, 4181, you're looking at right there, possession in the Bible, Ezekiel. Uh-huh. So now let's go. Let me let me just do another one. Let me just show you the the language that they speak and how the Lord's let me understand it. You want to see supernatural? iRobot. I was watching iRobot. And the Lord told me, look up Detective Spooner's badge number. By the way, I can do this hundreds of times. If y'all want to do this like a couple hundred times right now, I can do it. So if I can do this a couple hundred times and hit a home run over and over and over again, it's not ooh, a co coincidence. It's a fact. So now I'm going to do it again. And then 
maybe while we're doing this, I'll pull up a few more because they'll be in the folder. Okay. Josie I Robot is pretty good. It was like this takeover, right? It was an insurrection. Okay. So, Detective Spooner. So, what does a detective do? He apprehends, he catches people, he arrests people. That's what they do. They find out who the bad guy is and they apprehend, catch, and arrest them when they have the evidence that proves it. Uh, here we go. Ready? Let's go to let's go to Google Images. Detective Spooner badge number 4084 iRobot. There it is. So ready? So you tell me it's a yes or no answer. You see 4084? Oh, sorry. Um sorry, 4084. Detective Spooner's badge number is 4084. See that? Okay, so now if we go to the if we go to Strong's, which tells you four zero, let's see, what make sure it's four zero. Yeah, forty eighty four. So if we go to forty eighty four and it in any way, shape, or form has anything to do with him being a detective, then Jonathan Kleck has been sent by God. Probably another form of Biazzo to squeeze, seize, press, officially arrest, or in hunting capture. What does a detective do? Here it is, 4084, Biazzo, to lay hold of, apprehend, catch, and arrest. Okay. So now, whoever's calling Jonathan Kleck a false prophet, now Jonathan Kleck just proved he is a prophet because I read their language. I lay hands on the sick and they recover. Karen Sullivan wasn't one of them. But the Lord God took away all her blessings, I'm sorry, from her and her entire family. The number one thing he took was their peace. And now that the end of the world's here, everyone's going to lose everything. I mean it, everything. The whole world is about to lose everything because in noah's day he tried to warn everybody he's like guys there's the lord's warned me that there's a flood coming no one listened to noah they probably persecuted the crap out of Noah. i can't imagine building the ark while he was probably being persecuted by the population at the same time i mean i can't even imagine it but he was protected by god so what did he do he built this big ark and then what happened a flood came, and what did it do? It took away all those that didn't believe and wiped them all out. Noah was the before the flood guy. I'm the before the fire guy. That's what the Lord told me. Jonathan, a fire is coming to destroy everything. You have to warn everyone you can. I was like, what? What is before the fire? Mm-hmm. I lay hold of, apprehend, catch, and arrest. Yes or no? Is Detective Spooner holding a badge that's 4084? Right there. There it is. Yes or no? Is Detective Spooner's badge 4084? Yes or no? It is. Okay. So it is. So is it possible that what I'm showing you, that his badge number in the Bible means I apprehend, catch, and arrest? That's not possible. I just showed you, you know, I mean, I, I'm showing you the same thing over and over now. You know what? You want to do Taylor Swift, my lover? Because see, the angels that were willing to come in and have sex with the daughters of men, they're, we're the ones in trouble, but we're trapped inside host bodies. It doesn't mean that you're male or female genitalia. That's not what it means. It's energy. That was a hard thing to figure out. So, Taylor Swift has a video called My Lover. Let me, so, there's an angel being hunted by a demon in all the host bodies. That's the system. It's, it's cannibalistic, Cain and Abel, cannibal. And now I'm just going to take that and show it to you in a Taylor Swift video. That there's a demon hunting an angel within the system. And I'm going to use the same language that they they use right here ready okay let me just pull up the folders here real quick i'll open this one up uh you guys if it 
takes me too long to navigate it, I'll pause it. I think I can find it pretty quick. Let's see, there's a lot of information in here, guys. These folders are more valuable than all the money in the world. You cannot buy what I'm showing you is not for sale. You can't buy it. Okay, so let me show you just quickly, uh, Serpent Language, here you go. So, so yes or no, um, go look at the video yourself here okay now see that round shining ball in in the center right there okay that represents god's angel that's being destroyed sitting in between her and her lover now taylor's upside down and the black guy's upside down and that ball round shining ball in the middle represents god's angel that's being destroyed let's see if this thing will open up Hmm. That's where it's not opening up. That's all right. I have it in here anyway. So. Okay. Anyway, it's all right. I have it right here anyway. So I, I have the. Uh, here we go. So. Let's look at the game they're playing. So Taylor and her guy on the ceiling. They're playing a board game. If you watch the video, they have a board game here. And they're playing their board game. And the board game is called Devils Roll the Dice and Angels Roll Their Eyes. Now, I colored it in green to show everybody that's something that I saw that's obvious. She's missing a fingernail on her index finger. If you've ever known girls that do their nails, you don't they never, ever, ever, never, ever, never, 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 ever, never, never, ever, ever walk around missing their index finger finger. Now it's just no, 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 no. And they the reason the artist did that is her hand makes a raptor because the female system is a reptilian parthenogenic. It's reptilian. That's what started it. So now there's a raptor. That's a raptor claw with the nails. And then you got to look at the dice. So devils roll the dice. Angels roll their eyes because the angel gets turned upside down. Your eye gets rolled. There's a there's a type of music called rock and roll. See, we used to be on the rock, but we got rolled. There's a band called the Rolling Stones. We were the stones of fire mentioned in Ezekiel. I Thou walkest up and down upon the stones of fire. Talking about Lucifer in Ezekiel 28. Thou walkest up and down amidst the stones of fire. The Rolling Stones. With the tongue seeking out. That's why there's a band called the Rolling Stones. And they have the tongue seeking out. They serve Satan. Because they know the angels are the stones of fire that got rolled by Lucifer. That's why Mick Jagger got down on his knees and bowed to Lucifer when he started, uh, you know, uh, the Sympathy for the Devil thing. Uh, when he came out with the song Sympathy for the Devil in a kind of a private showing with the Beatles and some other people. And he got down and worshipped Lucifer and then just jumped up all energized. It was pretty wild. So here we go. So look, devils roll the dice and angels roll their eyes because the angel gets inverted. 241. And then 336. Three, so C241 and 336. Three, three, I read their language. So let's go to Strong's. We'll go to Strong's. Now, I've already shown you this several times. This I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time just proving to you I can read their language. If you don't see it now, then there's an old saying, a man convinced against his will is of the same opinion. Still, I, I'm not here to convince anyone. I'm just here to present. So ready? Hang on one sec. Okay, so 241. Uh oh, here we go. 241 and then 336. Devils roll the dice because they're hunting the angels. So the, devil, the, the devils and the demons, they're one race of beings, and the angels are another race of beings, and they're in the same host body. And the demons are out to kill the angels. Isaiah, I will arise above the stars of. God, El, the Almighty God. The word stars is kokab. It means round or shining princes of El, the Almighty God. The word star means a round, shining, like light prince. Okay, that's why she's got 
the you know the shining ball in between her and the black guy. Now watch this. 241 and 336. So what's 241 in the Bible? Of another nation, a foreigner, uh, a, a stranger. Now the Bible says that we are strangers and foreigners here. That's what the Bible says. Live out your life as foreigners, as exiles. We're the exiles. Strangers, foreigners. Okay, now. So 241 means of another race, definition of another nation, a foreigner. What about 336? A taking up, destroying, slain, taking away of life, killing, slain, murder. So devils roll the dice and angels roll their eyes. That's how they kill the angel. They invert it in the system. I just proved it. It's proven now using a Taylor Swift video. Now I can do this all day long. I can literally do this all day long. I can go through these folders all day long and prove this over and over and over and over and over. Just like the Heartbreak Hotel, Mila Jovovich and the guy sitting in the hotel room, he's upside, he's sitting right side up, she's laying with her head upside down off the bed, one right side up, one upside down. Male energy is good, female energy is evil. Not male genitalia, not female genitalia, male energy. Male energy comes from heaven, female energy comes from the pet. And female energy consumes the male energy within the system. That's why there's this thing called the Ouroboros, the serpent eating its own tail. Because every system has an, an ending. Remember the other day the Lord told me to play for you guys uh, closing time? And I was like, what at closing time? What? The Lord told me, look it up on YouTube. It's a song. And I was like, oh, I remember that from way back in the day. Every new beginning comes from some other beginnings and watch it he's letting me know the end is here enemy at the gates boy was he not kidding boy i've got so much demonic activity coming towards me it's crazy okay here we go so here we go so i just proved it of another race a foreigner and then 336 a taking away of life killing slain murder like hunted for dinner no different same thing and then let's see if I can get Esword to open up. Maybe I'll, come on, Esword, open up, open up. Come on, Esword, open up, open up. Okay, yeah, I'm having some computer problems, which doesn't surprise me. It happens to me all the time. Isaiah 14, I'll just prove it because I want you guys to see that the word star is not just a star in the sky. The stars are the princes. Okay, ready? Isaiah 14. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations that I set in thine heart? I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars. Look at right here. Stars. Ready? In the sense of blazing a star as round or shining a prince. Round or shining a prince. I will exalt my throne above the stars of. Look at the word God right here. So see, I belong to El, the Almighty God, El. The system is Elohim, and that's who I'm ratting out. I'm turning state's evidence on Elohim. It's like I was a member of the biggest criminal organization in the entire history of the world called Elohim, and Satan is the boss, and I ratted him out, and he's pissed. <laughs> so they'll call good, bad, and bad good. That's what they do. So now... Satan said, Lucifer, I will exalt my throne above the princes, as round or shining, of El, the Almighty God. I will sit to dwell, ready to sit down specifically as a judge in ambush, in, to ambush, in quiet, to dwell, to settle, to marry, to inhabit, lurk, lurking inside. Why do you think there's a clothing line called lurking class? Because inside of you lurking to destroy you is a demon. We were all possessed until we get converted. Now, let's. I'm going to use the Bible to prove that too. Now, ready? We go to Ephesians 2. See, I always come with the word of God. That's why the weird uh, Gene Rebel demonic channel just hates it. Hey, JJ. <laughs> Gene, dude, when the Lord comes, oh my Lord, how scary it must be. How scary. Okay, here it is. Where and in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince 
of the power of the earth. So before you got saved, you took your orders from the prince of the power of the air. Who's that? It's the spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience. Look at the word spirit. So the prince of the power of the air, Satan, is a spirit, and he works in the hearts of all the children of disobedience until you've been converted. But when you get converted, you give your heart back to Christ because your heart's not divided. See, we all have a divided heart. We have an angel and a demon dividing our heart, what you want, what you do, what you say, what you feel what you're willing to do. Boy, I've seen a lot of people that were willing to do things they really shouldn't have done. Now, the evidence is piling up and we put it out in other places to make sure it stays where it needs to be. Look at this. So the word, the word spirit that works in the children of disobedience. See the word spirit? Say it, pneuma. Now I want you to look at this. It's G for Greek word 4151. A current of error, that is breath, blast, breeze. A superhuman, that's us. An angel, comma, demon. Right there, see it? An angel, comma, demon. See the word or right there? It's very, very important. The word or, divine. See, divine is in parentheses. Superhuman's in parentheses. So when you read the word superhuman, the words after it, tell you what superhuman means an angel comma demon so we are all superhuman angel and demon hunted for dinner cain and abel now watch this or divine and after that the parentheses it said god christ spirit the holy spirit okay well the only way you get that is you get converted that's why jesus said unless you're born again you will not see the kingdom of God. I'm showing you the kingdom right now. I'm sharing it with you. I'm sharing the gospel with you. Turn back to God through Christ and get saved. It's the most simple thing there is. But to see it, you have to invert it. That's why Acts 17.6 says, the, These that have turned the world upside down have come hither also. Because Thessalonica was all pissed off because Paul and Silas showed up and said, hey, you want to see the truth? Oh, shit, get them out of here. Get, get, get. Because the inhabitants of the earth, the, the original inhabitants, they're superhuman angel demons. Well, they're actually parthenogenic reptilian race. But the combination of them is owned by the pit. They're just using the angels as food, a food source, and slaves to build their world. That's it. That's what we're here for. Oh, we got duped. So here it is. So you're either a superhuman, which is an angel demon, or you get converted and you become divine God Christ spirit. See it is? Right there. Now watch this. First Corinthians 2. You ready? I always come with the word. For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. Let me show you the word Jesus. Jesus is Jesus. That's how you pronounce it. Jesus. That is Yehoshua. It's from a Hebrew word. Hebrew word 3091. See right there? Hebrew 3091. That is Yeho and then Shua. Okay, and the reason it's Yehoshua is because it's a conjunction of two words. Watch this. And the Yeho part, see right here, the Yeho, I'll make it yellow, Yeho, is from Hebrew word 3068, which is Yehovah, Yehovah, the self, so self-existent eternal Jehovah, look. So the self-existent eternal Jehovah, that's actually, so Jesus is the self-existent eternal Jehovah, and then Shua, the, the, that part of the word, Shua means to open wide, to set free, avenging, preserve, rescue, bring to safety, salvation. So see, the self-existent eternal Jehovah that saves you, Yehoshua, Yehoshua. Okay, well, the self-existent eternal Jehovah, do you know where you see him the first time? In the system, you see him in Genesis 2, when he forms Adam from the dust and breathes into his mouth, his nostrils, the breath of life, and man becomes a living soul. That's 
God from heaven putting his spirit into the system. Genesis 2. And the Lord God, now watch, I'm just going to give you guys a lesson in theology right now. Genesis 2. You don't see the word Lord God until Genesis 2, 7. And the Lord God, look at the word Lord, said Yehovah, self-existent, eternal Jehovah, formed man from the dust. Look at the word form. Remember this, Yatsar, 33, 35. So Yatsar, say it out loud. Through the idea of squeezing into shape, especially as a potter. So the Lord God, look at the word Lord, self-existent, eternal Jehovah, Yehovah. Well, Jesus is the self-existent, eternal Yehovah that opens wide. Ready? That opens wide the dungeon by inverting you the other way. So you can see. I'll prove it. Watch. Okay. So the Lord God formed man from the dust. And the word dust is clay. See it? So the word dust right here, 6083 right here is clay. It means as powdered or gray, hence clay. So the self-existent eternal Jehovah formed, the word formed is Yatsar, as a potter, squeezing into shape as a potter, man, Adam, from the clay. See it right here? Okay, now I'm going to go to Isaiah 29. Watch this. You want to see the whole world flip and see the mystery of everything? Well went to them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. Look at the word Lord. It's the self-existing eternal Jehovah. And they, they hide their counsel from the Lord and their works are in the dark. Now remember, which direction is dark? Down. So the word, their works are in the dark. Dark is down, light is up. Watch this. Their works are in the dark and they say, who seeth us? And who knoweth us? So they're concealed. You know how they're concealed? By inverting you. Now watch this. Ready? Surely you're turning of things upside down. So surely you're turning of things upside down. Just look at it for yourself. It says turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Through the idea of squeezing into shape as a potter clay that's the lord god from heaven that put the soul into the system which is you and me and all of us that are being hunted for dinner within the twin female system like dos Equis, the most interesting man in the world has anyone ever said that to you if you're a guy has anyone ever said oh you're like the most interesting man in the world they're mocking you saying you have a girl on both sides of you holding you hostage they're mocking you that's why the most interesting man in the world always has a girl on each side of him. They're mocking him. Pride. Okay, now, there it is. I will arise above the stars of El, the Almighty God. I showed you it's round or shining, Kokab. So, now I've proven that I read their language. I mean, yes or no? 400, hunted for dinner. Yes or no? Bait tennis shoes. F you pay me four hundred in the Bible is food time pray food pray. Okay, so have I proved it? It's a yes or no answer. Who's hunting us? Who's hunting the angels? Let's see. Hell yes, ease right on her vagina. Katy Perry, the eye from the pit, mouth on her vagina. Gigi Hadid, devil and whatever. Uh huh. No big deal. What about this? So she's sticking her tongue out because the largest altar in the world is a dead sheep with its tongue sticking out. Just like the rolling stones because the sheep, they're always mocking the sheep. Hmm. She's sticking her tongue out. She's got teeth on her vagina. What would that suggest that she eats what goes into her vagina with her sharp teeth? What is the inference? Let me show you a picture someone drew of me. Hey, Johnny, I drew a picture of you. Yeah, Alex, why'd you put the dead sheep behind my face? By the way, there's a serpent eating me as well. The Vatican's a serpent eating a sheep. Can you imagine I was able to walk into Starbucks, tell the manager, hey, Chris, I'll bet you a million dollars, Alex, 
over there draws a picture of me with a serpent eating it with a, I'm sorry, with a dead sheep on my face. That's what I said. I said, I'll bet you a million dollars. I said, I'll give you a million dollars out of my trademarks if I sell them. If I ever decide to sell my trademarks, I'll give you the first million. That's what I said. And he goes, I'll take it. A week and a half later, I walk in, Alex, the barista. Hey, Johnny, I drew a picture of you. I was like, really? Okay. Why'd you put the dead sheep behind my ear, Alex? Do you know who you're speaking with? Uh, could it be Satan? Uh-huh, it was Satan in the middle of Starbucks. We had a very interesting conversation. And Alex didn't even know what had happened. It was pretty fascinating. So what's going what's being what's being made down in the pit? A bunch of locusts. So we're being hunted for dinner. Male energy is being hunted by female energy in the system to create a locust race from the pit. That's why there is a clothing line called Broken Promises. Let me show you one of their t-shirts. It's what's inside that counts. See the whole female dolly? It's like a rubber doll, and look what's really coming out. That's the root. Because the whole host body system has roots that go down to hell. The Bible says in Proverbs 5, her feet go down to hell. The word feet is pedenda. The word pedenda means vagina. Her vagina goes down to hell. Proverbs 5. Her feet go down to death. Her stay, her steps take hold on hell. Her feet. Say that. Uh, let's see. Yeah. By euphemism, pedenda. You know what the pedenda is? Her vagina takes hold on hell. Okay, so have I proven it? Yes or no? Why is the largest altar in the world? Well, why is the largest church in the world a serpent? Well, because the serpent race runs the show here. And why is the serpent's mouth inside the building the entrance to the female reproductive system? Well, ask Miley Cyrus. She's got teeth on hers. Ask Gigi Hadid or ask uh, Katy Perry. She's got her eye from the pit and the mouth on her vagina. I mean, you know, is this a no-brainer now or what? Or am I satanic? Jonathan Cleck and his followers. Jim, you know what, Jim? Jim and Karen, oh my gosh. You guys were given everything. God gave you everything. When Jim Sullivan was doing his whacked out weird video that he had been threatened by one of Jonathan Cleck's followers, he knew Jeff Pesco when he was saying his weird little video. Jim, what a phony, what a fraud. Mm -hmm. Did you guys ever see Pink Elephants on Parade? Dumbo mm, is good. Anyway, yeah, her feet go down to death. Hades, the place of the dead, Hades. Her vagina, her pedenda goes down to death. Dead, the place or state, Hades. Her steps take hold on hell. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't we see like some girls like Katy Perry and the gang? Where'd they go? Anyway, they're in here somewhere, right? Y'all saw them, right? We can go back and hunt them up. Uh, yeah. I'm going to X out this one. Here we go. Why does this girl have a bug on her dress? Why is her whole dress uh, an insect? Uh, shh, don't let anyone know. We're a bunch of vampires. We're just a bunch of vampires. Shh, don't tell anyone. That's the secret of the whole world. The whole world. Female consumes male. Now you know. Okay, so now... I'm going to do another one of these kind of videos where I give you so much perfection and data and scripture like I just did now. That's not arguable, but it's just going to be nothing but scripture and data. But I want you guys to hear from the people that lived at the cult that Jim Sullivan and his wife tried to start. I don't run a cult. You know, when you go to a like church on Sundays, everybody goes to a building, right? And they all talk about whatever they talk about at whatever church. We don't meet. I don't meet with a group of people. I go online. I show people what I'm doing, like right now, that the Lord God has given me supernatural gifts and the indwelling spirit of Christ in me lays hands on the sick, 
uh, people that are blind get their sight back. People that are spiritually blind, they get their sight back. And then he has me lay hands on people that are terminal and they get well to prove that I work for him. But then people like Donna, Donna, why are you telling people I'm a Satanist, Jeffrey? Why are people calling up Jeffrey Pesca, calling him Jeffrey the same? I wonder if we got a hold of those numbers that were making those calls. I wonder if we already did. Hmm. Anyway, a lot of stuff going on here. So now let's see a couple more things. Let's just look at this. Tell me yes or no. So in the Bible, Abaddon is the serpent. Abaddon, the angel of the bottomless pit, is the serpent race. You see that, right? Can anyone please tell me yes or no? Is that a serpent? So there's this thing that a lot of people ended up getting stuck in their arm a while back. And it starts with the letter C. A, B, C. See, I, I read their language. I do. Detective Spooner. The Lord just let me prove it. I mean, it's just stupid at this point. It's stupid obvious. Unless you're delusional, then it's not stupid obvious, maybe. The Bible says at the end, because they had pleasure in unrighteousness, God will send them strong delusion. So they believe the lie. But the letter C is A, B, C. Third letter of the alphabet, which is the number three in the Bible, is the angel of the bottomless pit. And the angel of the bottomless pit personified is the serpent. Okay? So C, do y'all know what Ovid means in Latin? It means sheep. So serpent, three. Ovid means sheep. In Latin, what do they sing the masses in inside the snake? Latin. And then the number 19 means slaughter. Serpent, sheep, slaughter. What's the Vatican? It's a serpent. What's it doing? Slaughtering sheep in the form of angels. Did I just prove it again? The answer is yes. I prove what that's all about now. They still got to get it to go online. Because Revelation 13, he required everyone, great and poor, small and rich, rich and free. I mean, small and great, rich and poor, slave and free to receive a mark in the right hand of the forehead. So you're going to have to get a chip right here or here. And that chip can activate what's been put in everybody as an antenna. The second that chip goes into, boom, you go online and you are, you're done. That's why the Bible says anyone who takes a mark will, will burn in the presence. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll butcher that scripture. Let me say, let me just go look it up real quick. Let's go to Revelation 13. Because that's what's coming real soon. They're about to crash the, the dollar out right now. The dollar's about to go down. The petrodollar's done. Okay, so he required, so, and he causeth all, small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. Now, here's a word for mark. It means, the word is karmag, charagma. A stamp as a badge of servitude. Who are you going to serve? Well, if you want to be in this world, you're going to have to serve Satan. It says a stake and a palisade. A palisade and a stake, military mount for circumvallation and a siege. So the siege is coming on all angels. You'll either have to take the mark in your right hand or your forehead and a palisade and a stake. It says it right there. You know what a palisade is? It's a sharp metal fence post that's exactly the same as a hypodermic needle. I'm sorry. So here we go. Let's do Google Images. I'll do metal. So let's see if this comes up. I have it in the folder, but I don't know what, there's so much stuff. Okay, so there you go right here. So there, so see, 
to fence you in to make sure you never get out. They never want the angel getting out of the host body system because if you're in there and you get converted, then you're free once you die. But if you take the mark, you're done. You'll never get out. You'll never be able to be converted. So you see that? That's the same as a hypodermic needle tip, isn't it? So let's go to Google Images and let's do um, RF, R, I'm sorry, RFID syringe, S-Y-R-I-N-G with RFID. There we go. It should come up. There you go. So there you go. There's a palisade and a stake right there because they got to get that in your right hand or your forehead to make everything else that's already been distributed to go to go online. You understand? And once you take that, if you take it, the Bible says you, anyone that's where you got it. That's where the rubber meets the road. And if you take it, you're going to have to burn in the presence and the, uh, I'm sorry. Here's what's going to happen to anyone that does take it. Ready? Right here. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and every kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. And I'm telling you, I believe it's here right away. And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of water. And here we go. Let's see. And anyone that, okay, and anyone that takes, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark. See the word mark? Karagma. And receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image, and whoever receiveth the mark of his name. That is where we're at right now. We're at the door. They've already got the, the juice in everybody. They just need the mark now. That's it. And I'm the guy. I'm sorry. It's just, I didn't ask to be the guy. The Lord made me the guy. Because I guess he knew I could take in a long extended beating for 20 years. Huh. Okay. Anyway, all right. So now, again, so hopefully this has proven everything you need. You know what I'm going to do? I'll save the Jim Sullivan stuff for another day. I don't want to convolute it with this. I don't want it in this video. I, I'll just leave this the cool stuff. We have a lot more stuff going on, by the way, that could be added to the next video. So. The, the whole system is made so obviously manifest. It's been so easy for the Lord to show it to me because he gave me the gift of sight. Is Lady Gaga wearing a dress right here? Yes or no? Does that dress have a serpent? Right? Is that a serpent's head right here? Is this the head of a bug? Yes or no? Okay, well, I drew it in. Absolutely, yes. There's the head of a serpent. There's a spear tip going through her vagina. And it's going right into the mouth of a bug because that's where the energy goes, right to the mouth of a bug. Because there's a system in the pit. That's what the mystery of the whole world's about. I know, terrifying, isn't it? And see, now the enemy knows that I know and they're really bummed out. Well, they're not bummed out. They're mad. That's why you have Lady Gaga in a DN word video. Even though it's not really Lady Gaga, it's, uh, uh, you know, a, whatever. A Lady Gaga impersonator in a D. Antford video, and she's birthing a locust. Why would someone be birthing a locust? Well, because locusts are what get birthed out of the pit. Revelation 9, verse 11. Okay. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> How wild is all this? 
Okay, so the Lord let me solve the riddle of ages. He told me he would a long time ago. There's videos proving it, and everybody that stands against the truth has to answer the Lord God, whom I serve, and I truly mean this. I wish no ill will towards anyone. I'm tired of watching the, the haters hate, though. i got to admit, I'm just sick of it. It's like there's a point to where it's like enough is enough. Watching people lie about other people, being disingenuous, saying things that are just sick and not true. It's like someone watching someone beat up someone else. It's just sick. It's wrong. But the Lord God, he said he will come and take vengeance on the entire system, which is right side up, upside down. So see, the world is right side up, upside down as a system. And the Lord God is going to take vengeance on anyone that's still attached to that system. Unless you've been converted, you're still attached, so you're under God's condemnation. And I was sent to warn you, and I've done my job, and hopefully you took the warning. If you didn't, you're going to be just like the people in the days of Noah. When the flood came and took them all away, it happened without warning, and bam, they were done. And that's the way it's coming. So now I've done my job under very serious circumstances. All right. Hopefully that all sank in, right? And I'm just, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. And I want to get to bed, but I want to give you a hug. But because the lion of the tribe of Judah is coming, and I think this is a really cool lion. <laughs> I'll hug all my brothers and sisters that belong to the lion. And then I'll pray for all of those that hate us. God have mercy on you guys. I mean it. If you haven't stepped off the edge totally, it's not too late, guys. You can turn back to Jesus and say you're sorry. And just say, hey, you know what? Jonathan made a lot of sense, and I see it. And I don't want to be under eternal... Con do, you, do, you, do you understand? Do you understand how serious eternal condemnation is? It never, ever, ever, ever ends. You are in eternal torment, torment that never ends. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine never ending horror? Imagine the most horrifying thing you can think of. Multiply it by a thousand and then add eternity to the end of it. That's what's coming. And I've tried to warn everybody the best. Of, oh, collect your balls from it. It's like, okay. All right. Say what you want. I did my job. I warned you, and you didn't heed the warning. If you don't heed the warning, then I, it doesn't matter. I did my job. And go read Ezekiel 3. Go read Ezekiel 33. That's it. Okay. All right. Now, yeah, there's a lot more information that's happened and come out, and a lot of things that have we've we've been we've managed to get our hands on that are just not good for just anyway i love you guys in christ and i mean that peace and grace all right i'm exhausted i'm going to get some drops from my eyes that feel like they're on fire and this video will be up in the next hour hopefully all right i love you guys god bless hey guys sorry i'm just my eyes are burning so badly right now that I, w I want you all to watch the short little video I did one more time. After everything I just showed you and taught you out of the Bible, that a demon is hunting an angel through the system and the angels are sheep because the angels were willing to cavort with the females in the system. If, if you just take everything I just showed you and you just watch this short little video and apply everything I said again to this short little video and you watch it very closely, this little short video shows you the mystery of everything in the world in probably three minutes, four minutes. If you watch it with everything I just showed you, pause the video, pause this little short video and just stop and look at it, contemplate everything that's being shown to you. Okay, so let me do that real quick. Uh, let me do this. Here you go. Ready? The serpent is the dragon. The dragon is Satan, a.k.a. the devil. So 
if you worship the Prince of Darkness, how perfect to do it right in front of everybody, right under their nose. destroy all of God's angels, I will rise above the stars of hell. That's the plan. Destroy God's angels. They get us in a host body system, and that host body system is attached to the pit through a demon. So as soon as the angel comes into the host body, he's got a body, but he's attached to the pit through a demon through one of your eyes. That's called the all seeing eye. There it is. I'm gonna pause it for one moment. Okay, I want to I want to talk about this for a moment. See this tattoo? This is so profound. This whole thing is a human heart. That's why I colored it red, but it's divided. One side's a demon. You see the one eye. Remember just like the clothing line I showed you, the elite tees or whatever? So see, you see the demon one eye. That's no different than the Gene Revel channel. Gene Revel manifests the demon that he is. He, whoever the guy is, and I know he thinks he's all covert. Think again. Uh, see the eye right there? The one eye, that's the demon symbology. Here's the angel. It has both of his it has his eyes closed because he doesn't know what's going on. But this is a human heart right here. But the whole thing turns in now down here is the devil looking up from the pit because the devil owns Satan. Satan owns this system. Now watch. Now, this is just an image showing you all the major lines. The whole thing is the head of a sheep. This is the eye of the sheep. This is the ear of the sheep. You'll see it in a minute. Watch. Okay, now, there it is. So here's the sheep. It's very obvious. Here's the eye of the sheep. There's the ear of the sheep. There's the other ear coming down. And when you look right here, you can see the line in the lip right here, and you see the nostril. It's real easy to tell. So this whole thing's the head of a sheep. So just like, what's the Vatican? The whole Vatican. I mean, the altar in the Vatican. It's a, the same thing. It's the head of a sheep. What's the, Hey, Johnny, I drew a picture of you. Why did you draw a picture of me with a dead sheep? I knew you would. Because he was winking and sticking out his, his tongue. That's why Karen likes to use her winky emoji. She can't help it. Anyway, so there's the head of a sheep. So the whole thing's a sheep. Okay, now I want you to look right here. You see the, the demon right here wearing the cloak. This becomes a scrotum, a male scrotum, and a penis. So here's the shaft. Here's the bronze penis. And there's an isotoxal star coming out of it. The isotoxal means edge transitive, means that the, the angel is being converted into something else. And then look down in the pit, there's the devil. So see, looking down from the pit is the devil, Satan, that owns the system. So Satan owns the angel, demon, yoked together. See, see this metal band going across here, yoking the demon and the angel together. And that's Satan's system. The host body is the forbidden fruit, hunted for dinner. Here's the angel being hunted for dinner by the demon. Because in the, the human heart, it is divided. Now when you turn it upside down, this is the eye, this is the eye, and this is the mouth. All the energy is flowing into the mouth of the open mouth of the worm that never dies what an amazing tattoo it's that tattoo is so biblical it's it's phen phenomenal i've seen a lot of tattoos that are just amazing They're, i mean it's like wow the artist got the bible in there how is that even possible because of what's running them that's why
If thine eye offend thee, pluck it out. It is better to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hellfire where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. Here's the worm eating all the energy from the system. Not possible. Now, that's from... from and that attachment to the pit. So see the two X, uh, look, look, see, this is a right side up triangle, upside down triangle interlocking, making a hexagram. You see the worm right there? That's, that's from the movie Prometheus and the movie Prometheus. Remember the worm comes out of the guy's eye once he's been infected, the worm in his eye. We have a worm feeding off us our whole life. Uh, go read, uh. Sorry, my brain's coming up a little short on this one. I'm so tired. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I will restore to you. I will restore to you the years the canker worm has eaten the caterpillar and the locust. Um, I forgot what scripture it is. Anyway, just go look it up. Anyway, here we go. And that attachment to the pit is what keeps the record against you. And that record is used to destroy you. The fix is to turn back to Christ and get inverted. The word converted means turn quite around. You turn back to Christ. You turn away from your flesh and get converted. And the two become one. I'm pausing it because I want you to see there's a cross. See the white cross in the middle of this key? An upside down cross. Well, the Vatican, look, the Vatican in the St. Peter's Square is a big keyhole. And then the Vatican itself is an upside down cross. So the only way to unlock this lock is to turn the cross back this way. So see, if you turn it upside down, then that opens the door and you're set free. Get it? So then, see, this is the Vatican. It's an upside-down cross. What do you think the odds are that the Vatican is an upside-down cross at the bottom of a keyhole? I mean, and it turns into a serpent. If that doesn't prove I work for the Lord God, then what does? Quite so, liar. He's a false. No, no. That's y'all. People can say that all they want. It means zero anymore. It's just words. Everything I presented is proven. It's not up for debate because it's the Vatican's a snake. <laughs> you can't argue with it. Are the Nazca lines in Peru, are they there? Are there like big petroglyphs of spiders and lizards? It's a yes or no. Is that a spider? Is that a snake? Okay, then. <laughs> it's so stupid. Quench a false prophet. Oh, my God. Because if I'm not a false prophet, all the people that are making that uh, allegation, that means they're toast. I mean, the, why do you think people freak out so bad? Because they want me to be a false prophet. Because the information and the delivery of the truth is what condemns them to eternal suffering. And I can imagine how terrified they are. That's it. That's why. It's got to be terrifying. Okay, so this represents you, this whole picture. So see, there's the good you on one side and there's the bad you. There's the male energy on one side, the, the female energy on the other side, the angel and the demon. And if Christ is, you took the payment of Christ for your sins, then he reconciles both through the cross. Now watch, he reckon, that's what it says, Ephesians 2. He reconciles both through the cross Meant for to make in himself one new man of the two. Now watch. Watch this. So then your eyes become single. That's what happened to my eyes. My eyes became single. And I could see all this. I was like, oh my God, what the heck is going on? Why is the virgin a dead sheep? Oh my God, 100%. No line. Okay, now it's proven. Texas Spooner, 4084. I operate catching her ass. Taylor Swift, 241, 336. A foreigner of another race. Murder him. Cain and Abel. I mean, blah, 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 blah. 
I could say it a thousand times. But a man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. I'm just presenting what the Lord God shows me, and I'm doing the works that he's given me to do, laying hands on the sick, laying hands on the blind, presenting you with supernatural data, but the world hates me and says I'm a false prophet. Okay, that's all right. But you have to explain those words to the Lord God who sent me. That's the way it works. You have to tell him about it, not me. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> it's like, uh, I'm just a delivery man, okay? I'm just a delivery, just a messenger. So just, that's it. There it is. That's the system, guys. All right, now, okay, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up now. Going to add that on to the end. I actually stopped the video and I was rendering it. I thought, oh man, I need to show you guys that one more time. But my eyes are so red. I'm so tired and I really need a break. So, okay, I love you guys in Christ. Peace in Christ. Jesus loves you. He loves, look, Jesus, do you understand that Jesus loves you so much that he was willing to leave heaven come into a body the same as we did. We left heaven and we came into a body, but we got trapped in the cage. It's a cage and we got trapped in it and it's all we know. So we're like, oh no, I don't want to let go of my body. That proves you haven't been converted because when you're converted, you don't care about death anymore. You're like, great, I get to go home. This place sucks because I can see it for what it is. Do you understand? That's how we know. Isn't it crazy? that I have these skydiving pictures where I'm falling out of the sky, upside down, flat eyewear, and I'm a, I'm a vampire. I mean, what do you think the odds are? A vampire. Flat eyewear. That's my skydiving thing. What do you think the odds are that I look like I'm crucified? The Bible says you've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer you that lives, but Christ in you. What are the odds like that I'm a pro sky surfer that's the space shuttle behind my ear. What are the odds that I look like I'm crucified with the discovery behind me? I mean, come on. It's like, you know, again, a man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. If you can't see that I work for the Lord God, then you were never meant to see it. But the bad thing about that is then you were never meant to receive salvation. I'm sorry, but that's just a fact. It's just facts. So I would really go before the Lord and say, Lord, okay, I'm sorry. You know what? Just show me I'm willing. I'm willing to surrender and lay down my, my life to you. I'm willing to let you have this temple back. You can have it. And invite Christ to live in you. Hand back your whole body to him and become a living sacrifice to the Lord God by letting him take up residency inside of you. And kick the demon out, publicly shame Satan, and hand over your temple to the Lord God and let him use you for his glory. Okay? All right. Love you in Christ.